Sophia Ritchie and Scott Disick have reportedly gotten back together, after having ended their nearly three-year relationship in May. Amid rumors of her recent romantic rekindling, the 21-year-old daughter of Lionel Ritchie looked relaxed and carefree, as she sported a tiny blue bikini in Malibu on Wednesday. While soaking up the sunshine with friends, the model put her incredibly toned midriff and summer glow on full display in a pair of Lorai's black trousers and, later, threw her lightened dresses in a sleek ponytail. As she appeared deep in lively conversation with a cold beverage in her hand, Richie leaned back on a lounge chair and chatted away with blonde pal, who appeared to be her longtime friend Tess Kemper, and a male acquaintance. Eventually, Richie stripped down to just her barely there two-piece, which showcased every inch of her envy-inducing form. Her very high-cut bottoms highlighted her perky posterior, as she smiled confidently under a massive pair of black shades. Her minimal makeup look consisted of a radiant bronzed complexion and a nude lip, as she opted against wearing a CDC-recommended face mask amid the coronavirus pandemic. The recent Cosmopolitan cover girl accessorized her poolside attire with a few delicate gold chains around her neck and kept her hair, initially, in loose waves. In addition to flashing major cleavage in her plunging bandeau-inspired top, all eyes were on Richie's gym-honed abs. Her outing comes one day after Disick joined the mother of his three children, sons Rain, 5, and Mason, 10, and 7-year-old daughter Penelope, at the beach on Wednesday. A source recently revealed Richie and the talentless founder are taking things slow. They are, trying to make things work while taking things slow, explained the insider told People, as the pair continue to spend quality time together. On Tuesday, a source confirmed to Us Weekly that Scott and Sophia were hanging out again romantically and that their relationship was back on. News of the pair's reconciliation came just two days after Sophia posted a clip from what appeared to be Disick's living room. Scott and Sophia reunited for the first time since their split on the 4th of July, while grabbing lunch at Nobu. They then left the popular restaurant and headed to a friend's beachfront party in Malibu. At the time, a different source told People that although Scott and Sophia seemed happy together, they were acting more friendly than romantic. Us Weekly's source also alleged that Scott and Sophia weren't getting along prior to their split and that they used the time apart to work on having a life separate from each other. Their breakup occurred shortly after Scott's brief rehab stint at a Colorado treatment facility in late April. Sophia wanted Scott to get through and overcome any issues he has and Scott wanted to put a bigger focus on himself and his family before any sort of romantic relationship, explained a second source to the outlet. But absence made their hearts grow fonder and Scott and Sophia, ultimately, decided to give their relationship another shot. The source added, Scott's family is always what is most important to him. He recently traveled with Courtney and their children to Utah for his birthday in late May, then, ventured to Wyoming for another family vacation. Scott has been much more calm and responsive to people outside of his family over the last month or so, the source alleged. Whatever issues that were bubbling up between Sophia and Scott at the start of the pandemic have simmered down and Scott has returned to a place where Sophia feels comfortable being around him and being in his life again. Scott and Sophia, who is the sister of Nicole Ritchie, first began dating in 2017.